Isn't it crazy that this didn't make the news? No, seriously. A scientific discovery like this that proves the Bible to be true to the T? And we don't hear any mainstream media coverage about it? Well, I think you know why we don't, because they're ran by some pretty satanic people. Anyways, what they're failing to cover, I'm going to cover, because I believe in the truth. I'm very excited to get into today's topic, but before we do that, let's get into the intro. What's going on, guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Before we get into today's video, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel down below if you are new, and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. Without further Without further ado, let's get into it. Shocking evidence that NASA released about the crucifixion of Jesus just proved the Bible to be true. When the crucifixion of Jesus is being described in Matthew 27 45, it describes darkness covering the land which has been attributed in scientific terms as a lunar eclipse, which took place right after Jesus died on the cross. Now from the sixth hour there was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour. Scholars have all agreed that the date in which Jesus was crucified was on April 3rd, 33 AD. The reason that scholars agree that his death was on April 3rd, 33 AD is because this was the date of the Jewish festival known as Passover during that year. When we look at the Bible, we see that the crucifixion was on the Passover because it was a custom during this festival where the Roman governor could set free a prisoner of their choosing. Pilate asked the crowd on whether they wanted Barabbas or Jesus to be set free. And if you've read the Bible, you'll know that the chief priest persuaded Pilate to set free Barabbas and put Jesus to death. We see this exchange in Matthew 27, 15 to 22. Now at the feast, the governor was accustomed to release for the crowd any one prisoner who whom they wanted, and they had then a notorious prisoner called Barabbas. So when they had gathered, Pilate said to them, Whom do you want me to release for you, Barabbas or Jesus who was called Christ? For he knew that it was out of envy that they had delivered him up. Besides, while he was sitting on the judgment seat, his wife sent word to him, Have nothing to do with that righteous man, for I have suffered much because of him today in a dream. Now the chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowd to ask for Barabbas and destroy Jesus. The governor again said to them, Which of the two do you want me to release for you? And they said, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, Then what shall I do with Jesus who was called Christ. They all said, let him be crucified. So we can clearly see here that this was on Passover because it was a custom during that festival to allow the Roman governor to set a prisoner free, like I stated previously. So the study of Passover traditions, as well as the Jewish calendar, is what allowed historians to translate it into the Gregorian calendar, which would be April 3rd, 33 AD. Now the shocking part is, on this same exact day, NASA recorded a lunar eclipse in Jerusalem that lasted around the same time that the Bible speaks of the lunar eclipse taking place after the death of Jesus. This is actually on NASA's website, and you can research this for yourself if you want to learn more. NASA is a scientific organization with no religious affiliation. However, their findings line up exactly with what the Bible documented over 2,000 years ago. This is because Jesus Christ is not a religion, but an actual historical figure who not only lived, but died and resurrected to prove to the world that he was the God of the universe that he claimed to be. He died for your sins so you could be righteous in the eyes of the Heavenly Father through faith in his sacrifice, which is the only way that you can spend eternity in heaven. I pray that you seek Jesus Christ while you still have time, because eternity is real and there really is a life after death that you cannot comprehend with your natural human understanding. Now, I don't need an organization like NASA to solidify my faith in Christ, but I do find it really cool that this organization accidentally confirmed the crucifixion of Jesus, especially because the origins of NASA are of the enemy. However, the enemy still has to submit under the authority of God, and the truth cannot be hidden forever. If you're thankful for what Jesus did for us on the cross, I want you to comment down below, Jesus defeated death. If you guys want to financially sow into this ministry, you can become a member on the YouTube channel, or I have an offering link in the description, as well as a link for my new merch that I dropped, which is also in the description. Any way you guys can support, I'm thankful no matter what. It's not about how much you're sewing in, it's the heart behind it, so thank you for anything. Seriously. I'll see you guys very soon for another video. I love you guys so much. May God bless all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care and peace out. There's only one worthy to sit on the throne. Can't wait till he comes me to get on this world and I'll finally be in my own. You see I'm a menace to hell. I'm aware that my name is extremely well known. The Lord and his angels are always around me. I know that I'm never alone. Walking with God, you yeah, my sin been atone. Better not play around with me. Could Jesus Christ call me and maybe his own? Had to repent on my knees for things in the past I no longer condone. The spirit be giving me peace Always be walking around with Shalom The work of the cross was a mercy show So I'm gonna be walking on the narrow road